Hey there friends, I hope you're doing really good today. I am ready to start my paint journal. Uh, if you guys have been with me for some time, you know that I am terrified of paint and I am terrified of canvas. <laughs> So there we go, some terrifying things to maybe like get over the month of October. I have done canvases and I have painted. I think uh, maybe sometimes my issue with this is uh, with a canvas, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. And let's face it, you can't really ruin a canvas because all you got to do is put some gesso over it, slap gesso on it, and there you go. You can start all over again. But I um, I decided that I would turn this little calendar uh, that someone gave me into a paint journal. Now my idea is to turn it like this, and you know you guys probably have one of these at at home. Um, so turn it like this and start covering it with paint and make it into a book. The reason that I chose this, A, is because the, the pages in it are super, super thick. They're just wonderfully thick pages in this uh, 2018 calendar. Also, there are only 12-month uh, pages in a front and a back. So only 14 pages for me to... Um, to experiment with paint in a paint journal. Now that's a great thing, isn't it? Because it's 14 pages, so for me that's not like overwhelming, right? So that's kind of what I was going for when I chose this little journal. I did have to do a little patching here. I had taken a small piece out of this journal and used it in uh, probably like a junk journal or something like that. But I thought that um, today I'm just going to work on this page, and that is it. I'm not going to go through here and try to uh, whack out a whole bunch of backgrounds or anything like that. I am not going to experiment with brushes. I'm going to do my Big Daddy brush that my daddy gave me three years ago that I am still... Um, using and using this brush. I am amazed at this brush. Look at that. Look at that patina on here. I will keep this forever and ever. My daddy was so uh, excited about giving me something from his um, collection that I could use. Generally, he does not like anything leaving his collection, but I told him that I really would love to have that paintbrush, and he let me have it, and that was probably, yeah, it's been about three years ago. Um, I'm going to, I have an idea for this page, and I'm, I'm using some I'll show you what I want to do. This is my Little Birds book from Lee Ann at Creative Freedom Paper. And uh, this is another book that I bought from her that's kind of gone through different stages. It is uh, partly a paint journal because I did paint this at my sister's house last year. It says God shows his handiwork in the beauty of creation but doesn't reveal that he himself is hidden there, which I, I love that quote. But this, this book has, has wonderful, beautiful, fine papers in it. I want to do something with this little collage collection that I put together. I love it. This I'll explain in a minute. And then I also thought that this would make a nice background. So in this book, you can see that I've already curated some things to go on the pages. This is also the book that I took things out of, I think it was last week, and uh, put them in my flow binder, which I am really loving that organizational system because it does allow a person to see, to see all your elements. So I'm going to start right here. I've, I've pulled out these elements. And I want to, um, I, I think I chose these paint colors. I've got uh, lime green, I've got some yellow, uh, I've got some pink, and I've got some white. Because I kind of knew what I want to do here. Um, 
I also, I think the napkin would go nicely here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I also wanted to use parts of the, the man who taught me to play guitar. His name was Price, and he was a guitar player. He was also a fiddle player, and this was in his... Uh, this was in his fiddle case, and his son, when, when um, my friend passed away, when Price passed away, his son gave me this, and I've always wanted to use it in an art piece, and I think uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of use parts of it, not the whole thing. It's very precious to me. He was a, an incredible soul, and I don't know that I would have had my music career without him. I am, I'm going to start with just some white. Uh, this border is, that also influenced the, the colors that I chose. There's pink here, uh, green, and white and black. I, um, there's no yellow, but I don't know why I gravitated to yellow. I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe because it's raining, <laughs> and I thought it was a happy color. <laughs> um... But let's just start, and uh, the first thing I think I want to do is cover the page with some white, and we'll, you know, we'll just drop it on, and we'll just go, and we'll, we'll, we are creating with no fear. Did you hear me gulp? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. I'm not a clever painter. Maybe that's it. I can paint. It just takes me forever to paint. And, you know, I could have made something or done something else, you know, with the whole painting thing. My idea here is to kind of incorporate the, the border up here that has the days on it. I want to kind of cover that up, um, you know, but, but allow that that really pretty lime green to kind of peek through here. Same thing here. Everybody knows muffins are good for you, right? <laughs> I love that little saying, and I thought about ways to kind of keep it, but I think I'm going to cover that over as well. You know, you still have a little bit of text peeking out there, and that's, that's kind of cool. I also want to cover this up. Again, I'm not. Um, I'm not going to switch brushes. You know, this is this is my wild abandon paint journal. But any kind of calendar like this, you know, what do you do with those things at the end of the year? Sometimes the images are just stellar, and you don't want to. You know, you don't want to mess with the images in there. Um, I mean, you want to use the images in the calendar. And, you know, this might be just a great way to um, to use those big honking calendar sheets. I also did a project last year where I used big honking calendar sheets to make a journal. Um, I'll show that to you. I just thought about that, you guys. So I'll show that to you to you as well. I'm going to step away and draw this, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I dried my white. Now I think that um, that I am going to um, do something with the green that I'm really just not quite sure. Um, you know what? I think maybe I'll paint some green and then put this on it. Um, my idea here is to show, you know, uh, the toughness of... I used to play Epiphone guitars. Um, the toughness of women in the music industry, the performers, as well as our fragile side. And when I, when I think about you know fragility, then I do think about you know flowers and and those sort of fragile things, um, natural things, fragile natural things. So I think that um, I'm just going to go for it and just kind of smoosh around some paint right here. Um, that's my modus operandi <laughs> today is to smush things on. So I'm just going to... I also, this paint is old and um, it's gooey. And I guess that's kind of... I don't have fine paints. 
um, because I don't know how to use fond paints. So that's kind of all there is to that. All right, so I've dropped on some green there. I like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead. See how that kind of made the, the rose stand out there? And I do like that. Um, when I dropped the rose down there, it's a good thing that I dropped it in a good place because it's stuck. So I'm going to bring that green a little bit around here. Again, you know, disclaimer, I'm not a painter, but i got to start somewhere. And that's the thing, isn't it? I, I mean, we, we, we might be, you know, we might watch YouTube and we might comment and we might um, want to do, but, you know, sometimes you just got to step out. Sometimes you just got to do it, right? And that, I mean, that's not bad. That's cool, as a matter of fact. I kind of like that. That's kind of a neato technique. I did not know that was just going to stick right to that paint, but that's what happened, y'all. Um, I also want to use this. I don't think I'm going to use the napkin because the napkin, now that I'm looking at it, seems to be very bright against, uh, against the rest of this. I Uh-oh, come on, baby. Wow. That stuff's sticky. Um, okay, for this, I am just going to tear it. Now, I believe this is probably 1950s-ish because my friend uh, did play music professionally. And I believe this is probably from the 1950s. Such a great fiddle player. He used to be so patient with me. Um, he was our neighbor. And um, he was such a fond singer, fond guitar player. He was a wonderful southern gentleman that met his wife when he was in the army and overseas. And, and of course, she was English. And oh my goodness, she was just, she was a delightful person. I love to hear her talk. I do like that. But I almost think that it needs to be turned a different way. And now that I'm looking at it, I think, you know what I think I want? I think I just want the text. I think I want this text down here. That was, um, for my collage eyes, that was a little overwhelming for that page. So let's, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's, that's better. All right, and I think for this, I am going to just go ahead and go with some pink. And we'll put some pink in down here. I am just dropping it straight on. I'm trying to have no fear. Even though there, there's a tornado watch out. <laughs> no fear for the tornado. No fear for the paint. No fear, no fear, no fear. You can hear a couple things in the background. You can hear the wind, and you can hear my um, my little oscillating fan. This storm has terrified my mother. She lives in North Carolina. Bless her little sweet soul. Good gracious, she's just really had a time of it. She's not in the super affected area, but you know, close enough that they are covering it all the time. Uh, she does not have cable, thank goodness. So she's not seeing CNN constantly. Now I know that I'm going to have a little pink spill over there, but I even think that's okay. I think that's alright. Love this. This is a list of the of how the the violin is laid out, all the pieces and parts. And then I think she's gonna just kind of back up here. Uh, maybe maybe some yellow would be good right there. What do you think? You think so? Yellow is beginning to be a really favorite color of mine. And I, I do, probably because we're, we're going into the fall season and, you know, my crepe myrtles are already turning quite yellow. 
They're so pretty when they turn yellow. I'm going to bring in some leaves and show them to you guys. Good grief, they're beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to drop some yellow in here. And then that way, I can go ahead and stick on my little girl with guitar. Again, you know, she looks so tough, but I can promise you, she's a fragile girl. It's a difficult, difficult thing to be a woman in the music business. I'm also like totally out of Mod Podge. Got to go get some more. Okay, so we kind of her hair is a you know a little bit blonde. Just kind of added some color to her, and it kind of blended her in with the uh, with the rest of the page. So there we go, guys. My first, uh, oh, <laughs> my first page of my paint journal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for playing along with me. This is my No Fear Project. Um, choose yourself a No Fear Project, friends. I mean, what have you really got to lose? Just do it. It's it's fun. It's engaging. It it is yours. It is your creation. Um, remember that being a girl is not always the easiest thing in the world. And we got to step out. And we got to step out in bravery and do our thing, y'all. No matter what your thing is, do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.